we're at Indo-Pacific 2025 in Sydney, Australia. We are now on the massive BA Systems Australia booth, meeting with Andy Coxall. He's the production lead for Hunter program at BA Systems here in Australia. Andy, good afternoon. Great to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Uh, the reason I wanted to meet with you is, uh, well, to get an update on the Hunter Class uh, Frigate program. You have an updated model. Can you please tell us all about it? Yeah, so uh, it's good to talk about the program because the co-round's going really well. Uh, we're about 18 months since we cut steel and we've got over half the ship in fabrication now uh, and uh, we're looking at moving our first block into the blast and paint chamber uh, later this week. So it's really great to be here and we've put for the first time the model of the, what we expect to be the final configuration of the ship on display uh, and what you're essentially looking at as the ship as we see it will be in its final delivery system. Most notably is the, uh, is the mast on the ship. That's the biggest difference that, that you'll see between a Type 26 ship and a Hunter. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's great to be here. Uh, can you uh, remind us uh, what's next uh, for the program, like major milestones, uh, well, killing, launch and so on? Yeah, so the next major milestone is uh, where we take block four, which is essentially the block we're building at the lower area of the keel here, uh, out, of our, out of our block consolidation hall and into blast and paint. And that'll be the first of the keel units that, uh, that goes through that process. And that means that when that comes out in about two months time, it'll go into our ship's consolidation hall and be the first of the keel blocks by which we start to build the ship from the keel up. And uh, when is the expected uh, launch for the first unit? Uh, the first ship's uh, currently on track for vessel acceptance dates of mid-2032. And uh, you're confident you'll yes. match that timeline? Yeah, absolutely. We're on track for that. Uh, lastly, uh, well, uh, recent news for the Global Combat Ship uh, program for BA Systems globally is uh, Norway, who's uh, well adopted the, the design. Uh, well, what's your? Can you com share any comment from an Australian perspective about this? Would there be any impact on Hunter? Yeah, now uh, we uh, think that's great news. Um, and you know what it does is actually reinforces the decision the Australian government made around selection of this ship and for its anti-submarine warfare capability. So I have another nation and a nation that's you know based in the North Sea select this ship absolutely underpins what the government's done for Australia. So uh, yeah, we really please and we're, we're happy to welcome Norway to the global combat ship family. Um, the, Nor the Norway contract is, is essentially taking Royal Navy slots on the production line to start with, so that's a really good way of introducing another nation without it putting additional strain on the supply chain uh, and the production slots within the UK, so, so it's, it's all good news from our perspective. Alright, thank you very much. Alright, nice to meet you. Thank you.